Hey guys, so here's the deal. When it comes to your feet, the stronger your feet are, the less chance of pain we can get up our chain. Being that the feet are the bottom of us, it controls, um, it has a lot to do with our mechanics in our knees, in our hips, and in our spine. So I'm gonna show you some things today to help activate our feet a little bit more. Anytime you wear shoes, Basically, it shuts the little muscles down in our feet that help support our foot. So we're going to do a little sequence today to start getting those muscles firing a little bit better, get them a little bit stronger um, to help support us both when you're in your shoes and when you're not in shoes. So let me adjust the camera a little bit so you can actually see my foot. Alright. So first things first, um, we just need to kind of wake them up. So after you've been in your shoes all day, you're at the gym, you want to start doing some things, um, we're going to start by waking up our foot. So all you're going to do is you're going to take a fairly firm ball. Um, this is a lacrosse ball. You can use a golf ball, a baseball, something kind of about a somewhat of a smaller size. And all you're going to do is just roll it back and forth on your foot. You're going to do about two minutes on each foot. And basically that just helps turn it on a little bit. Once you finish that, we're gonna do what I call arch ups. And what you're gonna do is with your foot flat on the floor, and you can do this seated on the floor, you can do it sitting on a chair, whichever you prefer. You're basically gonna try to pull this part of your foot up without taking your heel or your forefoot off the floor. So it looks something like that. It's just a very subtle, small little motion in your foot, but basically we're activating a muscle on the bottom of your foot that comes up into the back of the leg. What you're trying to not do is there's a muscle that comes down the front here. We're trying not to get that to pop out. So just very subtly, you're gonna try to pull that up, holding it for a couple seconds and letting it back down. And back down. I advise doing those for about 20 times. And then what you're gonna do are, is what's called toe yoga. You're gonna keep your foot flat on the floor. You're gonna pick all your toes up so the ball of your foot and the heel of the foot are still down. And then you're gonna to try to just get your big toe down to the floor, hold that, and then bring it back up. Take it back down, hold it, and bring it back up. In the beginning, you'll probably be able to do maybe five to 10 of these before your foot starts fatiguing. Um, but as you work, you should be able to get up to more. After you're done with that, then you're gonna go to the little toe. Try to hold all your toes up and then drop just that little toe down. And then if you're getting, if those are feeling pretty easy, you can progress that to just your little toe and then try to just get your big toe down. So your little toe and just your big toe are down while the other ones are up. Uh, as you can see, that's still a little bit difficult for me but that's one I've been working on. So try doing that um, at least every day to try to get those feet working a little bit better. And you should start noticing a little less pain in your knee, feet, your knees, and your hips, and possibly your back, depending on um, how strong your feet are getting.